get started, I want to make it clear to both sides. I am well aware of the emotional nature of this trial, and this has been a long week. But the, I've been informed that we have a verdict. But this case is two parts. There is the guilt phase, and there is a potentially penalty phase. So I want to caution everybody not to react to the guilt phase, not in front of the jury, because if there is a finding of guilt, then there will be a punishment phase. After we get the verdict, we will take a recess because there's some things that we need to do. But if you have some emotion, I'd ask that you hold it till outside of the hearing of the jury. If you don't think you can do that, then you need to leave now. Because if you uh, scream and yell at this phase of it, I will ban you from the rest of the trial. Does everybody understand that? So if you want to be president, control yourself, at least until the jury is outside of your hearing, and then you can have a be a moment for emotion, and then we have to get back at it. Did everybody agree to do that? Yeah. All right, thank you. Please be seated. All right. The four person, please stand. Have you reached the verdict on all five counts? Yes, Your Honor. Please hand all the paperwork to my sheriff, please. Defendant, please rise. The court has reviewed the verdict forms and they appear to be in order. As to count one, we the jury find the defendant guilty of assault in the second degree as submitted at instruction number five. As to count two, we the jury find the defendant guilty of armed criminal action as submitted in instruction number seven. As to count three, we the jury find the defendant guilty of assault in the in the fourth degree, as submitted in instruction number eight. As to count four, we the jury find the defendant not guilty. As to count five, we the jury find the defendant guilty of driving without a valid license, as submitted in instruction number 10. Is there a desire to poll the jury? No, sir. All right. At this time, we're going to proceed to the punishment phase. So, ladies and gentlemen of the jury, I'm going to excuse you. There's some things we have to do here shortly, and then we'll bring you out for the punishment phase. Until you retire to consider your verdict as to punishment, you must not discuss this case amongst yourselves or with others and permit anyone discussing your hearing. Please do not do any research or investigation on your own about any matter regarding this case or will involve the trial. Do not communicate with others by any means. Do not read, view, or listen to the newspaper, radio, electronic communication. It will be about a 10-minute recess. We're in All recess. All rise. We're in recess. All right, please be seated. All right, a couple things we need to do. Uh, one, we need to repositioning. Number two, are you guys? 